Thank you for joining me for another quick tip video. This video will be on check holder. This is a new function on the menu, but it's been around a while in the form of C hook. Right now, you can find it under toolpath check holder. If we highlight an operation, I'm going to make sure number one is highlighted over here. This is going to be the toolpath for this first operation here. I'm going to say check holder. Right now my tool is projecting two inches. I've set the tolerances here to 0.1 for resolution, tolerance of five thousandths, I want a clearance of four hundred thousandths, and I want a shank clearance of zero. At this point I will run my first test. And right now you can see the calculation being it's now done and it says oh okay minimum tool projection needed for the criteria is 1.448 and it also tells me I have no interference so I'm going to exit out of here and not make any changes because that will work for this particular toolpath let's take a look at our next toolpath I'm going to go back into check holder after highlighting the operation. I want to use the same parameters. Now one thing that a lot of people are used to doing is putting a very small number in here because they think it's necessary. Right now I've got a BT40 style holder so a hundred thousand for the grid of, of checking is pretty good. If I was had a very small uh, part with a very small end mill and uh, holder, then I might want to tighten that up. Putting a very small number in here is only going to increase my calculation time. So I'm going to perform my test. Right now you see the calculations going on. It's done calculating at this point. And now we see that we have a little bit of red here and some blue. We look at our little chart here. Safe motion is blue. Unsafe motion is red. So right now I know I'm going to hit my holder. A tool projection of 2.14 and change. I'm going to even it off to 2.2 just to have a little bit easier number for the tool setter. And I'm going to confirm that. The system is going to ask me, or tell me actually, that uh, the tool has been modified. I say OK. And I go back to my tool holder. And I should be good to go now. Let's bump up the speed a little bit to get it down to the bottom. And... As you can see, I'm looking pretty good. This is a nice function. It gives me the ability to check my holder for collisions before I put it on the machine and make the proper adjustments.